Oh, hey, Tom. Oh, blimey. Fancy seeing you here again. How you doing, mate? We need to stop meeting like this. <laughs> People will talk. Should we, uh, what should we do? Do you reckon we should do section 10? Yeah, I think we should just go to the pub. Mm, well, we're going to have to film something, make it look like we've done the walk, we and then we can go to the pub. You bought all this stuff with us. It's just full of beer. It is. And condoms. <laughs> Extra small for him. <laughs> yeah, I'll go bear back. Cut that out. <laughs> um, but anyway, welcome back, guys. We are doing section 10 of North Downs Way. Uh, we're going from Y, which is where we are at the moment. Beautiful little village in the heart of Kent. Uh, and we're going to Etching Hill. Is it pronounced it, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Something like that. It's about 11.2 miles. Um, the, we started this walk quite late this evening. Uh, we've only got about a mile and a half, two miles tonight we are going to be wild camping on top of the white crown uh, which is a big chalk memorial and it looks like a crown <laughs> uh, and it's in white hence the name white crown um, so I'm going to be camping tonight in my trusty old Van Gogh Soul 100 tent Tom's got his Terranova laser competition one tent it's making another comeback that tent we've yeah. seen it before so it's a good looking tent that um, I don't think really I've got much else to say. So, ah, uh, oh, we're sitting here with a beautiful view in front of us, so we'll show you that in a minute. We're going to head off that direction, past the old Hawaii University, and then start a steep incline up to the top of the ridge. So, we'll get going. Yeah. yeah. Shift on. Let's get swifty. Right, we're still in the grounds of the old Y University, North Downs Way, don't even see that. Y Crown, one mile to go. Better this side, there you go. So we're heading off up that road by the school. The urban sheep has taken over this plot of land and made it their home. Just stopped at this bench to take our jumpers off. Behind us, you just might be able to see the top of the white crown, which is just there. So that's camping spot for tonight. From here, I can see at least one person up there already. Hopefully, they're not camping, so we're gonna have it to ourselves tonight. We've got beautiful views all around us. Just uh, can't wait for the view from the top. 
Yeah. Right, Tom, you ready for the steep incline? No, but we've got no choice. Yeah, we'll Here we go. go. Oh, yeah, one more thing, mate. You're walking today! You're walking today! You're walking tomorrow! <laughs> Right, we're along the top of the ridge of Wire Crown and check that view out. It's spectacular. You think we can see the sea, there's right on the horizon. I'm not quite sure. But uh, just in time for the sunset as well. Let's do this. Usual setup in there, nice and snug, and I open out to a view in the morning. I think Tom's nearly set up. He's done, cool. I'm getting a bit hungry, so I might get a feed on in a minute. All I've got is uh, super noodles tonight, so nice and easy. What, the fried bentos ones? Yeah, yeah, delicious. Maybe. Oh, we've got some visitors. Right, let's get some food on, shall we? Right, we've got dinner cooking. Spoiling some water. Save noodles, chicken flavour. We'll quickly demolish those. And uh, then chill out, relax. Don't know if you can see the sunset still, just about to see the horizon. Beautiful spot, we've been really lucky tonight actually. There's no wind, in fact, I'm still in my shorts. So, yeah, wicked night, wicked spot. Hopefully, the wind don't change through the night and pick up, but might have this, have a hot chocolate. On me, uh, in a little chair. There's in my last video. So this is me for the night. Tents over there. The next day. Good morning. Slept. Like an absolute log. No wind, no rain. Wicked nice sleep. And then, I've just woken up to this view.
we've been greeted with the most beautiful of mornings awesome view behind us Tom's up he's doing a bit of filming <clears throat> so I think we're just gonna chill out a little bit this morning have some breakfast in fact I'll show you the crown while, while I'm here I'll add on a photo of what the crown looks like from the road but it is just rocks and it's been painted white big cross at the top and then the crown shape below it yeah <coughs> excuse me I'm still sort of in awe at how beautiful this is this point is exactly 21 miles to Dover and also 21 miles to Canterbury so it's quite an important point and obviously where they opened the North Downs way in the 70s and there's the campsite just there Morning mate Morning How'd you sleep? Not great, two night terrors. Well, you did wake me up, it was... First one I was like, what is going on? And then I remembered. Yeah, it wasn't great, but it's all right. Had worse. But yeah, I suppose it's all made up for by waking up to this view. Amazing. It's literally no wind at all, still. Right, <clears throat> I'm all packed up. <clears throat> we'll start that again, shall we? <laughs> I'm all packed up, ready to go. That's where I camped. Leaving absolutely no trace. Don't be a tosser. Here's my stuff. Tom seems to be running a little bit behind schedule. Not that we've got a schedule. There he is, the old empty tent. Look at that, beautiful. I do feel like I need to get myself one of these tents. How much do they weigh? Uh, just under the kilo, about 900 and... So your whole something. tent weighs less than my tent and it's twice as big? Yeah, you can get lighter ones than this, but they cost yeah. more money. This is one of the older models, I think. They change that like Terra Nova change them all the time. So like the laser comp one could have different features. One had a door that opened out here as well as this one. All kinds yeah, of yeah. stuff. Just yeah. And they're all different weights then. Ah. Right, we'll tune back in. When we're having some breakfast, I'm just gonna enjoy the view and wait for Tom, I think. Here we are, breakfast time. Cooking some beans and some sausages. Tom's probably got some fancy dancy dry pack sting. Nah, just porridge. Porridge? And leftover cider. Hair of the dog, mate. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> Not really going to do much filming here. I think we've got quite a bit of filming to do today, so I'm just going to sit, enjoy my breakfast, enjoy the view, and we'll catch up with you when we're on route. So we'll see you then. Yay! A gate Tom didn't get stuck in. Yeah. <laughs> Your bag's too big. <laughs> no. 
You walk into Thai? You walk into Baba? No, I walk into Thai. Careful, we made in trough, quarter of a mile to go. Through these woodlands. So, we're here at the Devil's Kneading Trough. Massive gully in the side of the hill. Uh, and this was formed millions of years ago when this was all the glacier. And the glacier started melting. The water channeled its way down, cut out a groove into the land. And uh, all the ground then became really good for farming. So all around this area, there's loads of farms. Lots of nutrients, minerals in the ground, and has been farmed for about 10,000 years. It's one of the steepest sides in the whole of Kent. We've uh, popped out <coughs> with this awesome view again. Got a first glimpse of the sea. Probably won't be able to see it on, on the camera. You can just see a ship <coughs> in the channel. Got some three big buildings over there. We think it's the power station at uh, Dungeness, but when I look on Google Maps, it's really difficult to work out. So we've got that like, dim church over there. It's a uh, first glimpse of the end of the North Downs Way. So yeah, we're about halfway, I reckon, on this one. And then uh, head to H Etching Hill. And then after that, the next one's down to Folkestone, across the uh, cliffs into Dover. It's quite a rewarding sight, that, Tom, isn't it? Oh, there's an old trig point over there as well. And the beacon. Wicked. Oh yeah. That's cool. That tree point looks like it's hardly been touched because it's on private land, isn't it? Yeah. Shame. I like trees. Alright guys. We've got to a point, it was a big decision. There's a 16th century pub just down there. I'm hungry, Tom's hungry. We need to refill our water. The only thing is it's slightly downhill, which means we're gonna have to come back uphill. Uh, for me, it was a no brainer. Let's go to the pub. Tom needed his arm twisted a little bit, but I think I've managed to get him to come down to the pub. Yeah. So. Uh, but it's a beautiful day, we'll sit outside, have a nice, might, might have some local ciders or something, which would be nice to try. And then, um, <laughs> in the summertime. And then uh, we'll rejoin the track shortly after lunch. So, bye bye for now, North Downs Way, we'll see you soon. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Here we are coming into Brabourne, Brabourne, I hope you pronounce it. And there's the pub, the Five Bells Inn. That's where we're going to have some lunch. Very quirky. Three days later. 
Right, we stopped in the Five Bells for, well, ideally for some food. Uh, the girl when we walked in said we could have some food and then as we sat down, another member of staff said they're fully booked and they can't feed us. So, WTF? What the hell? What's going on? So, uh, I had a pickled egg pale ale, never heard of that before, but it was quite a nice beer. And Tom managed to find one of his favourite ciders. Dude, just turn elderflower. But an elderflower one you've not tried before, isn't it? No, I've not tried that, it was good. So, I yeah, like I do like elderflower. So, uh, we've obviously not eaten, we've kind of wasted, not wasted a bit of time, but time spent where we could have been eating was yeah. drinking instead. So, <laughs> we're going to re rejoin the path and then find somewhere, quickly maybe cook something up. My lunch I've got only takes five, ten minutes to make, so should be fine. No doubt Tom's got energy bars and things like that. Oh yeah, I've got the, the, to power the Russian Olympics, mate. That he's, that I've Whatever heard that, that he steals from work. What? <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, coffees and stuff like that. <laughs> they support my calls. <laughs> On the off the beaten track, there's uh, an old church here. Have a little wander around here. Doors are open as well. Might even have a look inside. Another old Flint church. Right, we're at the point now where we rejoin the North Downs Way from our little detour. Uh, I've done six and a quarter miles from the North Downs Way from Y. Stoting is half a mile to go, so still reckon about five miles to go, roughly. And we're heading off down that track there. Hello, Nugget. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, hello kitty, come on in, come on in, come on. It looked at me and it ran off. <laughs> So we're walking up this lane and we know that in a minute we've got a left turn up a very steep hill. And I think it's just about to come into view <clears throat> and it does look very, very steep. Let's see if we can see it up on the left by that tree. You just see the pathway at the top there. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. Muscle burner, this one. Get the calf muscles going. I'll race you to the top, Tom. Well, you're on your own. <laughs> I'll take my time with this. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs>
what a climb that was big but we were rewarded with that view that makes it so worthwhile there's Tom coming over the horizon oh, excuse my out of breathness that was hard we'd walked by that pilot over there around through this town and then up the hill so pretty cool hopefully I don't think there's much uphills left to do so I'll wait for Tom we'll get a move on There it is, there's the channel. We have worked out that is definitely Dungeness. We've agreed on it. Got the radio tower up there, we'll be cross passing that shortly. Drop down the other side into Etchin Hill. Just walked down the side of that hill there, underneath the power lines, through that field and up a gully, on top of this ridge. And I'm literally gonna turn around and show you what I can see. You ready for it? Three, two, one. <laughs> Look at that. It's the little town of Postling there. It's a little church. Flat as anything down there. Oh, Let's keep getting better and better at these views. Pretty spectacular. Right, we've just plopped out onto the road. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> got a first sign of Etchin Hill on the signs. Me and Tom have got a bet. Whoever uh, loses the bet has to buy the first drinks at the pub. Or the drinks at the pub. He reckons the sign's going to say a mile to Edgin Hill. I, I reckon. Say a mile. And I say a mile. Now that sign there doesn't say North Downs Way. It says other footpath. So I'm looking at the North Downs Way one. So yeah. Last hill, and then over the hill, and then we're in Etchin Hill. So it should be, it should be a good one to finish the video off, on, I reckon. Tom, what does that say there, mate? Does that say a mile and a half? It says Luke is a sore winner. Prick. <laughs> Tom's buying the drinks in the pub. Yeah, tap water. <laughs> I'll have a uh, a bottle, a big bottle of Prosecco. Oh, this is oh, this is like that. Uh, I'll have a large, I'll say a large Shivers Regal. <laughs> a large Southern Comfort with American soda. Or what is it? No, what's he, what did he say again? <laughs> I don't know. When they're, oh, they're saying that they're getting voiced to buy the drink, so they, they go for like really big orders. <laughs> Here it is, boys and girls. The final uphill climb 
of this section. Oh, didn't take my jumper off this time. I'm sweating buckets. I think that's Etchin Hill just there behind me. Got a radio tower up behind me there. Good going this. Oh, I'm starving as well. Big fat juicy kebab on the way home I think. Love it. So this is Tulsford Hill radio aerial. Looks more like a rocket launching site. I don't know whether I think it looks good or looks ugly. I haven't really decided yet. Let's see what it looks like from the other side though. There's a sign just on the wall there with the Queen, Queen's emblem on, 1957. So yeah, it's been up there quite a while. It doesn't look very used anymore. I suppose it's all digital now and doesn't transmit as much anymore if it does anymore, who knows. Right, we've just left the radio transmitter and we've actually peeled off from the North Downs Way. We're heading down a road into Edgen Hill to go get the car. Uh, it's quarter past half past six now. So we decided to turn off here uh, as it's going to take us, well, I'm not going to get home till like half, half eight, I reckon. So I need to eat, get home and eat as well. So we decided to do that. But I think we can might get away with parking the car up there next time so we can actually just jump straight on rather than actually go into Etchin Hill and do the final stretch. So... I might as well say goodbye now. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> right. Nice one, Tom. Cheers, mate. Fist Cheers bump yet, can oh, we? Elbows. Elbow bump. Elbows Sweet. Safe, it's been a wicked trip. This uh, last section has been quite difficult up and down. Mm. Lots worth of hills. It. Well worth it. And the views have just been absolutely incredible. White Crown was brilliant. Yeah. Do you know, we were just saying as well, White Crown was this morning and it feels like an eternity ago we were there. Yeah. Uh, it's been such a long way we've been today, but uh, we'll catch up with you on the next trip. So, if you haven't subscribed to me yet, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to Tom, Tom Outdoors, Thank you very much. do it now, and uh, we'll see you on the on the final leg of the trip. See you later.